All right, so let's get this party started. We're gonna animate ourselves today. We'll start by choosing a new color palette. We're gonna keep it so it's gonna color match the picture that we're gonna choose. I'm doing Robert Downey Jr. because Robert Downey Jr. is dope. He's super dope and I wanna be like Tony Stark one day. We wanna color match this picture just to make it as realistic as possible. So we do that by holding down with our finger and it'll make an eyedropper tool. And that's gonna do all the magic for us today. And we're just gonna create new layers of each part of the body and outline it and then color fill it. So as you can see here, I'm about to do the hair. I'm just outlining it, drag and drop. And then I saw his hairline looked a little weird here. So I was fixing up his his sideburn had to make that a little bit better for our man Tony Stark because he deserves a little bit more respect than that saving the whole universe and such now we're going to start with the shirt so I'm doing the collar as a separate layer I'm keeping it the white of the same color that it's at and then the undershirt also outlined that at a different layer same with the tie that's going to be a whole new layer too we got millions of different layers here you don't have to do it like this, but it's just for organization's sake because later on here you're going to see that I'm going to start shading and that's going to make it way more helpful in the future. So then I come in here, I turn down the opacity so I can see those little dotted, little dotted spectacles on Tony's tie here. Just to make it a little bit more realistic to the pattern that he's got going on here because he's got some nice style today. And I love that style, so let's keep it that way. And now the shirt's in a whole new outline on a new layer. You're going to see this as a constant pattern throughout the entire video. It's just outlining different objects, different pieces of clothing, different pieces of the body. It's all going to be on different layers. If I haven't said it enough, it's on a new layer. Every time you got a new piece of clothing, a new body object it's gonna be on a new layer then finally we're closing off with the hands gonna make those gorgeous hands very presentable for the illustration here same with this little cuffs he's got here from his undershirt yep can't forget about those bad boys next all we got to do is pants and his sunglasses and we cannot forget about his facial features and i'm talking about facial hair but you'll see here we'll do these sunglasses it was a little tricky trying to find the right color of them but i got to it and then his facial hair his facial hair yeah it looks a little wonky there but it actually looked fine once i turned off his picture and there you have it we got tony stark let's just draw that up background now gonna make it super simple here nothing a little fancy just the same colors of the mountain and then the ground he's on and then the sky and you, you could have stopped it right here and you would have had a fantastic illustration but I was so stubborn that I needed to start shading so I'm using the soft airbrush tool and I'm taking the skin color and you just turn down the darkness of it just a little bit and you do it multiple times just to get a good little blend to it. Like, like different layers of darkness in the shadows, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I know what I mean. So hopefully you know what you mean, but we'll see. Yeah, we're just doing this throughout the entire body and his sunglasses and shirts. I made a little shine there. Just make, make whatever color you got a little bit lighter and then you can get that good shine on the sunglasses. This is where the layers come in to be really helpful. You just turn on alpha lock and then you're able to just shade whatever you drew without going over its boundaries. Makes it a whole lot easier. And yeah, you just gotta keep doing this. If you like the shading, then go for it. You can also add textures like you see in Tony's suit here. It kind of looks dope. It makes it look a lot better but do what you want to do. And don't forget the background if you're making it 3D. This is the video, this is how to illustrate yourself. You can do this with a picture of yourself, a picture of your role model, like Iron Man, picture of Captain America if you want, but Iron Man's even cooler. It's really up to you, it's how you want it to be. This is gonna be great for a, maybe a artsy Instagram post. It could be great just to show to your grandma or your mom, like I don't know, do whatever you want to do. 
to put that blur in the background. Make it real 3D. Throw, throw in that depth. That's how you do it. That's Tony Stark. A.K.A. Iron Man. A.K.A. Robert Downey Jr. Good night, everybody. Have a fantastic night.